Okay, so today, again, I'm in Marshall Forn. Welcome to another Mountainous Bike Resources video. This is June, still during the pandemic, 2021. And I'm going to show you uh, how the Marshall Forn uh, men are, or the promenade, basically, of Marshall Forn has been redone. So, let's walk a bit here. Now it's a pedestrian area. I still can see some cars. I read that um, they're not supposed to be. Except for those who are offering services. Of course, those are allowed to be uh, present. And this boat is offering boat trips. Departures from Marshall Forn, around Gozo, Comino and Blue Lagoon. So if you are interested, you can contact them on WhatsApp. Frank or Raymond. Burgers. They have a vegan menu. Quesadilla, dirty fries and falafel. You can also learn to scuba dive, which is very popular. Bubbles Dive Center, they speak. Francais, Espanol, Italiano. I don't know what language that might be. Is that Greek? English and fish. <laughs> no experience required. Smallest dive groups. Maximum four customers, one instructor. So this is again very uh, interesting. So this is also there are other uh, diving services here. Body.com, etc. And here we have a chill bar and cafe. Our cell over there. I don't know if that's open. Pool in a restaurant. It's closed. But there are other restaurants here which are open. So am I filming? Uh, yes, I'm filming. Yeah, they have cocktails and this is called London Lounge Steakhouse London Lounge Steakhouse Cocktails of the week okay, This might be of interest to you They have a menu here They even have London burgers like Tony Montana, Al Capone and Vito Corleone the Prices are 12 95 for the burgers which are homemade your beef patty. They have London pizzas, Gositana, Hawaiian, Margarita, Vegetariana, Tuna Chunk, Salads, Antipasti, Fresh Pasta Dishes, and the Kids Corner, Chicken Nuggets with Chips. Some adults uh, will eat that also. Right, so this is a nice again place for, to chill out and have some wine. London Steakhouse, very nice. That's Odyssey Bar and Restaurant, again it's good. Um, so here we see more chairs on the front. This is another good place to eat. Morella, this is the Morella restaurant. Right now it's open air. It used to be that you would eat inside. I remember eating inside a few years ago. It's the Calypso Hotel. Good hotel recommended. Well, many of the large hotels here are recommended. And here we have um, more of a um, candy cafe. This is the candy cafe, and this is Smuggler's Cave. Again, Smuggler's Cave is really recommended. Uh, very good food here. And fresh fish, so that you can find all sorts of stuff. And if you want an ice cream, gelateria granola. Okay, we have the beach. Not too many people now. It's June. Nice to be able to walk without caring about the cars now. So that's different. 
the story from the past. Here's La Trattoria and Loro di Na da Napoli, restaurant Cucina Napoletana, Napolitan um, Cuisine and it's also a pizzeria that's your Mimmo, Uncle Mimmo. Very probably, it's probably a very good pizza. I don't know, I haven't tried it. So I cannot tell you if it's any good. And as always, I would uh, look up the Google Maps reviews. It gives you a pretty good idea of a place. That's my opinion. Channel Baia. This is again. They have very good food here. I recommend <laughs> that you buy something from them if you want some pastizzi or similar street food. You know that that's good. Very good stuff. And they are on Google Maps also. That's again Melos. Again another uh, place where you can eat. So that's quite nice. Nice place, yes. Over there I can see Smiley's bar and restaurant. Looks like it's closed down. It was good also, it's some good food. So other people swimming here, you can see. And very nice. Okay, so it appears that uh, Smiley's bar and restaurant is open. Smiley's, and this is Eksha Kiosk. E K X A Eksha Kiosk. Let's see it. Okay, so you can even get your ice cream here. And here there's Smiley's bar and restaurant. And you have the menu, very good prices. Very good prices here. Even pizzas from six euros, fish and chips at seven seventy-five, and government vouchers are accepted here. At this point, there are government vouchers which were issued of your Maltese or residents at least, and you can uh, exchange these for hotel accommodation or services, and that is very and um, something you can. Uh, you can do it, recommend it because you will get a cheaper. Everything can be a bit cheaper, and we have an amount of vouchers, and you can basically you can basically utilize them here. Okay, so this is another uh, restaurant along the shore. This is Pebbles. Spices and grilled food. Traditional goes it in rabbits, 17 euros 50. Specials for today: salmon and caviar tortelli, tea and bacon soup. It says a T-bone steak, chicken. Boom. And there's there are more here. Restaurant. Okay, front. I don't know if it's open. Loro da Napoli, which means the gold of Naples. Again, they have the hand sanitizer inside. And Loro da Napoli, if you hear it, it sounds like you're saying Loro da Napoli, they are from Naples. Bojangles with five of them.
Okay, so over there, there was a garage with a very psychedelic, psychedelic design. I took a photo and it had a URL and some domain. It was in cute, I think. But it seems to have been painted over now. Perhaps it's going to become something else. And the gelat door is some ice cream. Ice cream is in there. We also have milkshakes, uh, soft drinks, water, sparkling water, nasty beer, espresso, Americano, cappuccino also. And that's nice. You can, you can have something which is warm, not just a cold ice cream. So that's, that's quite nice. And here we have these shops. If you need something, you can buy village craft could be a good souvenir uh, like a hat for example you can make a hat or for example these postcards from Malta or Gozo Maltese cats you can get a postcard with Maltese cats a tooth why not why not and there was also I think it was the same shop Ah, now there is a tuk-tuk here, Thai, Thai restaurant. If you want some Thai food, this tuk-tuk uh, Thai kitchen. We have some dishes, Thai dishes. You can try them if you want something. A bit of Thailand in Gozo. And you can order your takeaway by phone. That's the number. Okay, that's interesting. Good to know, good to know. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there was uh, another shop here which sold, I think it's this one, which had all sorts of stuff, and that's this one. They've cleared uh, the passage now. There used to be some tables, but if you need to buy some water or stuff, okay, or snacks or whatever, it's like a small convenience store, okay? Because you might not be aware of it. So that's Good to, good to know. Okay, so I think I can, I can stop here. This is the point where uh, the choo choo train uh, passes. So I'm not sure if they are actually doing it now, right now. Okay, because this was basically a sightseeing train tour. And again, I had a video in the past which showed you how it showed you a trip. On this train, they play a lot of Maltese music, famous old songs. Uh, right, so you can see the path it takes. It takes you near the salt pans, Schweine Bay, White no Bayer Bay, Bayer Promenade, Marshall Farm Bay. Okay, so you, you'll be able to go around this area. And uh, rather than walk like I did, I have a video from last year. Uh, where I walked all this part and I showed you the salt fence and also um, an old uh, the old um, white knoll it's called here it's been called white knoll there is another name for it uh, in English I will add that to the in the text here because I forgot the name which I used um, but it, it is uh, it was also used as a small fort even by, by the knights and even by the British. So that's that was what was interesting over there. Okay, that's the interesting part of that. So I'm going to stop here. Okay, so now there's no need to stop for watching, but you can also check out these two suggested videos on the left and on the right. And I'll see you next time. Bye from Malta Network Resources in Marsalforn in Gozo.